Up we go, very nicely, in the slow roll. Now, that was pretty good, but let's see if he can snap roll it. There we go. On takeoff, John Moore, barnstorming. John's been thrilling crowds for more than 25 years. The recipient of both the Bill Barber Award for Showmanship and the Art Show Memorial Showmanship Award, given out by ICAST. Look at that, straight up. Into the sky, hard left runner on the turnaround to set himself up for the Cuban 8 maneuver. Now remember, this has only got 225 horsepower, ladies and gentlemen. This is like uh, trying to drive a uh, NASCAR with 50 horsepower. A lot of weight up there. It's a tubular airplane covered with fabric. So he sets up now, going to trade some altitude for airspeed to come right back down for the Cuban 8. If the wind was blowing, we'd see an 8 lying on its side out there. Here we go. And that's all it is. The tip of the propeller going almost supersonic. Wave to Greg Poe as he comes by as we complete the first half of the Cuban 8 maneuver. Rolls it to the upright. And then back on the right side, completing the giant eight in the sky. The old barn stormers loose there. And right back down, angles off a little bit for a barrel roll. If you imagine a 55-gallon drum lying on its side out there, John's flying around the outside of that 55-gallon drum. A barrel roll. Got to set up for a four-point hesitation roll. Over 30,000 flight hours by Mr. John Moore, former airline captain. He's an ace evaluator for the International Council of Air Shows. He authorizes other performers to fly aerobatics. There's the four-point roll, two to the hesitation, three to the knife edge, and four right straight back up. He and his wife Lynn have an amphibian, the Piaggio Royal Gull, and they love restoring antique aircraft. The hammerhead turnaround on the left. Coming back, you saw him stop every 90 degrees around the compass. Watch this, it's every 45 degrees in the eight-point roll. Up we go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight times around for the eight-point hesitation roll. Repositioning turn now to come back for a very, very super slow roll. See how he turns around down there. Just does a half Cuban 8 on the down line there, rolls it back to the upright, sets up for the super slow roll. Now this may look simple and easy, but let me tell you, he's working the controls all the way through this maneuver. Got to keep that heading straight, wants to exit on the same altitude that he entered. And listen to that uh, engine burping a little bit. It's not made to fly upside down. You might see some flames coming out of the exhaust stack, too, as it ignites some of that smoke in the system. Sets up now for what we call a reverse cubinate. He's going to enter it, roll the airplane to the inverted, and start that way. John Moore and Moore Barnstorming. All right, here we go. Now watch him go to the inverted. This is the reverse Cuban 8. Does it with a hesitation roll there. Now pull through, maintaining those positive Gs as he comes right back down the show center. And here he does the same thing. Up over the top, rolls the airplane to the inverted, and pulls through. Coming right back down for the square loop. Let's see if he can square off the side of this. Up we go. There's one side of the square loop. Off the top. A lot of forward pressure on the stick to keep the nose high. Now he releases that, pulls down the back side, and there is the square loop. way up. 
up. Quarter roll on the way up. Then he's going to hammerhead. Oh, he's going to pull through. Come back down. And set up for a quarter roll up. Here we go. Quarter roll up. Running out of airspeed. Stands on that left rudder. And a quarter roll on the way down. And exits right out the show right. Sets up now for the eight-sided loop. A virtual stop sign in the sky. Here we go, across the bottom, let's count that as one. There's two, there's three, there's four sides, five sides over the top, six, seven, and eight. Eight-sided loop. Now he's going to take a little break here and climb up to a thousand feet to do a little maneuver for you. John uh, holds an airline transport pilot rating. Airplane multi and a Czech airman in the DC-9. An ace pilot for ICAS. Gifted musician, plays many instruments, guitar, fiddle, banjo, mandolin, and harmonica. And he does all of those things equally as well as he flies the steerman. Okay, we got the smoke. He's telling me he's just about ready up there. Climb to a thousand feet for the double snap roll. Watch, here we go. There's one. And there's two. Two double snaps. As he points the nose of that stop steerman straight down. Quarter roll up. And a tail slide. Watch this. No more power. Engine power reduced. Right back down through his own smoke. In the tail slide. Right into the spin. Now he neutralizes the controls, pulls out of that spin, and sets up for the falling leaf maneuver. This is a real pretty maneuver that he does, the falling leaf. They used to teach this to all young pilots, but they quit teaching the falling leaf, quit teaching the spin training to get your pilot's license. Watch John and the falling leaf. And there we go, he's about got to stop. Smoke comes off, power comes off. Now watch the falling leaf. And it looks exactly like one leaf falling out of a tree. Autumn coming on as the leaves begin to fall. Sets up now for the inverted pass. Remember, the airplane is not designed to fly upside down, does not have an inverted fuel system or oil system, and therefore you might get a little belching from the engine. Remember, up is down, down is up, left is right, right is left. He's waving to you, wave back to, oh, see the little flames there? Little, little belching, little belching. Watch now as he does the cross control pass. Right rudder, left aileron. Holding it just a couple of feet over the runway. Almost got the tailwheel on the ground. He does it so well, ladies and gentlemen. Mr. John Moore setting up for his inverted final approach snap but slip to land. That's a mouthful, but watch how he does it. Shell coming up next, followed by Geico, the Kent Dead Stick landing, and then the F-22 Raptor. What a demonstration. It will awe you, and then it will be followed and be joined by the A-10 Warthog and the P-47 Thunderbolt for the United States Air Force Heritage Flight. And when they start the Heritage Flight, it's more than one pass, so don't leave, because the last pass from behind the crowd over the top is the most beautiful. Look at John up there. Upside down now, inverted final approach. He's going to snap it to a slip. 
Nose comes down. Nose comes up. Snap roll. And side slips it. Eases the power off. Keeps the crab in there. Touches down on the left wheel. Holds the left wheel on the runway and puts the right wheel down. Ladies and gentlemen, it doesn't get any better than that. In a stock 225 horsepower engine, he's even landing downwind. He'll be right back in to taxi by him, Mr. John Moore. Look, he hadn't even put the tail down yet. You talk about controlling an aircraft. John.